What's up? Welcome back to another video. My name is Caitlin if you're new and today's vlog is going to be a weekly vlog. It is January 2nd. We are moving out of our house in about anywhere from 12 to 18 days. We're hiring a moving company, which is why I don't know exactly when we're moving out because they, we had to give them a little window. But moving out of our house, we are moving to New York City and the process has started of purging the house, packing, all of that fun stuff. So that's what I'm doing tonight. Had a work day, went and ran errands, did all of like the grocery shopping and stuff for the week. And now I'm packing up some stuff that we're keeping. So essentially, long story short, which I actually have not talked about this that much on YouTube at all, but we are moving to New York City. We're moving out of a house and into a one bedroom apartment. Our house is four bedrooms right now and so it's a pretty big house and then we're moving into a one bedroom apartment so we are purging a lot selling donating some stuff keeping some stuff and bringing some stuff so it's a process of trying to figure out what we're going to sell what we're going to bring what we're going to keep because as you can imagine we have accumulated a lot of stuff that i want to keep because like we will use it eventually i don't want to sell it and get rid of it and have to start over so that's where we are now. My dad helped me create this little system that I'm gonna use. So I'm labeling bins. We're putting our stuff that we're keeping in these reusable bins. I'm labeling them. And then in a spreadsheet, I am typing out all of the items that are in that bin. Sounds kind of crazy, but I feel like when we're coming back here, we're just not gonna know what any of these bins are. If we ever need any of this stuff again, then it'll be helpful to know which bins the items are in. Went to Walmart today, got some moving stuff, and I'm going to finish packing up this bin. I'm drinking an Olipop. These are my absolute favorite. They are my guilty pleasure. My favorite flavors are ginger lemon and strawberry vanilla are like my two top. And then I really like the grape, and I really like the watermelon lime. Those are like my really top ones. I just tried the watermelon lime like two days ago because I saw it at Whole Foods and we don't really have a Whole Foods that close to us. So we were in the area and stopped there and I saw watermelon lime and so I got it and it was by far my favorite. It tastes just like a Jolly Rancher watermelon flavor. But went to our regular grocery store today and they only had grape. Well, they only had my typical flavors and so I decided on grape today. Anyway, I'm gonna pack this stuff up. And then after I'm done packing up this bin, I am going to pick out some clothes for upcoming video that I'm going to shoot and then start getting ready for it. This week has been kind of crazy. I think the last day, the last time that I picked up the camera and vlogged was like Tuesday. I think it was the 2nd of January or something. It's now Saturday, the 6th. I have been sick all week. I ended up taking a day off of work and I don't have like time off. So I couldn't take more than a day off unfortunately especially because of the move i need to save up my time and so i've just been trying to honestly get through the day i don't know what it is that i had 
but was not fun whatsoever it was like i feel like it was maybe like the stomach flu like my stomach was really upset but anyway i'm finally feeling a little bit better i still feel a little bit groggy but i'm definitely on the up and up like I mentioned, it's now Saturday, but we have been frivolously packing the house, prepping to move, and literally just trying to get this done as soon as possible. Mitch just found out that he needs to go on a work trip the day before we have to close in the house. So he'll be out of town the day before we close. We have a window that the movers are coming, so it's possible that the movers could be coming the day that he's out of town, which if that's the case, I'm gonna have to have somebody come here with me because I can't take a day off work because I don't have time time off to take a day off work because I recently started my job and I just don't have time accrued unfortunately and I had to use one day for a sick day. So <laughs> a lot happening happening and I don't want to complain about any of it. Like I'm feel so excited and so lucky that we're able to afford to hire movers. We're able to afford to move to New York that the apartments that we're looking at in New York are like gorgeous apartments that I can't wait to move into in neighborhoods that are amazing. So feel super lucky, but this week has just been, it's been a hard start to the year, not gonna lie. Um, haven't been, <laughs> I haven't been working out because I haven't been feeling good, but that's all right. You don't need a new year to be able to start fresh. So keep that in mind. If you are also struggling with a start to the new year, you don't have to have the perfect start to the new year to mean that you're gonna have a good year. I really still feel like we're gonna have the best year. It's just been a little hard, moving, not feeling well, all that kind of stuff. So like I said, purposely packing up everything that we can because we are saving some stuff and storing it and then we're bringing some stuff as well and then donating other stuff. So that's the rundown there. I'll kind of show you, I showed you a little bit of my process, but we'll pack together at some point. I don't even know if I want to even start calling these moving vlogs because I know that I'm packing during them, but I feel like moving vlogs for the next month is a little ridiculous. But yeah, I am actually really excited for the moving vlogs. I like weirdly get excited about moving. I love change. And I didn't used to always be that way, but I feel like I was forced into a lot of change throughout college and early in my 20s. And so I've learned to like it. But anyway, I'm blabbering on. It's been five minutes. Today, we, Mitch planned us a date this morning, which was so fun. We went and got coffee at a new coffee shop that we had never been to. It's called Blue Sky Brews. It's in like close to Little Italy University Circle area in Cleveland. I'll link it below. And then we went to the Cleveland Art Museum, which we had never been to. We didn't even get through the whole thing. It was insane. We love a good art museum. So very excited about moving to New York because there's tons of art museums in New York. I was very impressed with the Cleveland Art Museum. I feel like I need to go back. We didn't even scratch the surface of the museum because we got hungry and we were in there for like three hours. So came home, ate some lunch, and I've just been packing. So I think our friends are coming over for dinner tonight and we're gonna do like Mexican for dinner. So that should be fun depending on how the weather is because it's supposed to, we're supposed to get a pretty bad snowstorm I think, but yeah. So that's all. For today, I plan on carrying this vlog out into tomorrow, probably do all of tomorrow, and then do another vlog starting the week. Um, my next week for work is already insane, so hopefully vlogging after work. Yeah, you know how it goes.
It's now Sunday. We have been running errands, packing up the house. We have a load of stuff right now that we are going to be taking over to my mom and dad's house. And we're on our way for Bentley's first training lesson with us. So she's been there for two weeks now. And at the two week mark, we do a two hour training lesson with us and Bentley. And so we are going to go see her. This is the first time we're seeing her in two weeks. So I'm really excited. Are you really excited? Yeah, of course I am. I want to try and like record whatever I can. Um, because I just kind of like want the memories of Bentley's little training lesson, but I it's disgusting outside and so I might be leaving my phone and my camera and everything in the car or in the house. So don't know if I'll actually get any footage, but hopefully. And then after that, we're gonna go drop the stuff off at my parents and then eat dinner at my dad's house. So that's a little Sunday plan. I have not washed my hair. I put oil in it yesterday thinking that I was going to wash it and then I didn't. And then today I didn't wash it because I didn't want to blow dry it. So I'm gonna do that tonight. So I probably look like a disaster, but it's a disaster outside, so whatever. But yeah, that's kind of the update. I don't think I don't think there's any other like moving update. Nope. anything like that so. just getting the house packed I will share kind of I'm we're taking out clothes for a month so that we can pack up as much as we possibly can because we'll be living at my dad's house for about two weeks in between moving out of our house and into into New York so I will share kind of my thought process for what items I'm leaving out and what items I'm bringing. Um, later on in the vlog, I still haven't figured out my bottoms or my sweaters or anything yet. So um, also kind of good for if you're going on a trip and you don't want to bring. I'm trying to figure out pieces that I'm going to be able to make the most outfits out of. So I'll share that when I do that. But yeah, I think that's kind of it. I was thinking about um, the... Good morning. It's Monday morning and I figured I would end off the vlog with a little update with a little update from Bentley's training lesson yesterday. I'm drinking some coffee. I'm trying out some new coffee in the new year. I've been seeing all these things how oat milk is like so bad and so I'm trying to not drink oat milk and so i got this cashew milk and i'm actually really enjoying it um it has like two ingredients i actually don't even know what the brand is i will link it below or i'll write the name on the screen um whichever is easier and so you can try it if you're looking to move away from oat milk or just trying try a different milk so i like it a lot we're also adding cinnamon to the coffee grounds, which brews it in a really nice, like, cinnamony flavor. So if you like cinnamon, I definitely recommend trying that out because that is a game changer for the coffee. Anyway, that's the coffee update. I'm just doing my morning skincare. I have a meeting in a little over an hour. And then once that meeting starts, the workday kind of kicks off. I don't know if I mentioned that I was sick. I think I did mention that. I'm honestly still not feeling great. And the mornings are always really bad for me, but that's all right. We're gonna get through it. But Bentley's training went so well yesterday. I'm so excited. She was doing so good. She learned so much and she's picking up on everything really quickly. Um, it's definitely gonna help her. So. I don't even know if I explained why we're sending her to training. I think I did in a separate vlog, but in case you missed that or didn't explain it, um, we are moving to New York City in about a month. And we, when we lived in an apartment in downtown Cleveland, we had, we lived on the eighth floor and there was, we'd obviously use the elevator and she was terrified of the elevator. And she would, 
we would get to the elevator and she would pee in front of it. So we could actually never go down the elevator. We had to go down eight flights of stairs to take her to the bathroom and then we could come up the elevator and she was fine, but she never wanted to go down it. I remember we were looking for apartments in New York. We were like, this is just ridiculous that we're looking for something so specific that it has to be on floors one through five and you know, it can't be on to that busy of a street because she will freak out. And so we have a dog, we have a friend that's a dog trainer and I was like, why don't we send her, her name's Krista, I'll link her information below in case you're in the Cleveland area, highly recommend if you have a dog that you think might need training or if you are getting a puppy and want to start it off on the right foot, I'll link her information below. But I was like, why don't we send her to Krista and then that way she's prepared to move to New York, which just sounds so funny. She's been working through a lot of these issues with her and she said that she lacks impulse control because she did the same thing where she was waiting to go out and she just like squatted and peed and she's like I don't think it was because she couldn't hold it like I think she just didn't feel like waiting any longer which is typical of Bentley she'll get very like she doesn't feel like doing something <laughs> she won't do it if you're not being like demanding and that's really good news that she's been working through that with her and she was she just did so good she didn't do well for me for some things like you can tell that she knew that she could try and get away with the things with some things for me and then different things for mitch which was funny but she did really really good that was her two week check-in and then she has two more weeks and then we'll go back for like four more training sessions after that in the next two weeks so she's got like another month of training and then mitch and i have to train just like continue the training at home so going well and i think that's that's the update so um work today packing tonight and just the same old same old hopefully feeling better I feel like I can't breathe and I'm starting to get stuffy. I feel like this cold has lasted me so long and I don't want to complain, but I'm so tired <laughs> and I feel like I just look tired. But I'm going to try and get in a Melissa Wood Health workout today because I feel like I just need to like move my body and stretch my body and then I think Mitch and I are going to go on a walk later so that we can try and get some movement and exercise because I feel like I have been moving around because I've been packing, but I... I was doing so well with my workouts and I was getting like really strong before I got sick which is so annoying because then I know when I go back to the gym I'm just gonna have to start over but that's all right I could be a lot sicker than this so just trying to be thankful for that last thing I want to talk about before I end off the vlog is this thing I was pulling my hair back I think I talked about this I don't know if I talked about this in the vlog actually I was pulling my hair back so much like I didn't get a haircut for so long and my hair gets really really thick so when I don't get a haircut and my hair gets really thick I tend to just pull my hair back or wear my hair up or whatever and I was slicking it back and like pulling it and just being hard on it and sleeping on it wet and just doing all the things that you really shouldn't be doing and I noticed that I had was getting some bald spots like on the side of my head like right up here and um so i got a haircut i stopped sleeping with my hair wet i have stopped brushing my hair wet so it's my hair has been like a little more messy than normal but i stopped brushing it wet and i just kind of blow dry my hair without brushing it and then i brush it after i'm done blow drying it but then i also use this twice a day it's just a little silicone like scalp massager and i massage my entire scalp and especially like around this area and just kind of like stimulate hair growth and honestly it has been working i have gotten these like tiny little baby hairs i don't know if you can see that my hair is so blonde but um i've been getting this like tiny tiny little growth that i'm really excited about so if you're struggling with that because i know like this slick back button was so popular and so many people were doing it and really is annoying and sucks that that happened but whatever i am going to try some other things after we move i didn't want to order like a ton of different products and stuff while we were still living here and then if they arrived late you know whatever that whole thing so just thought i'd show that in case that's something that you're also struggling with but 
I am literally going to start off another vlog like right now after I <laughs> end this video because I'm trying to vlog every single day and so I'll be going over my clothes today so I think I mentioned that in a previous clip that I was going to like show the process of picking out my clothes so that'll be in the next vlog so make sure to subscribe if you're not already thank you so much for watching this video and listening to me <laughs> blabber on um and i'll see you in my next video